Hey everybody, final thoughts, time for Fairy Tale Inn. And I gotta say, folks, I was really surprised by this game quite a bit. Because when I first heard about it, the idea of taking Connect 4 um, and adding, you know, special player powers and, you know, variable setups and all these kinds of more modern designer board game, you know, flourishes, I thought, well, yeah, that's probably gonna be pretty cool, but it's still Connect 4. Connect 4! I mean, come on, how good could it be? And yes, I know one of the co-designers is Paolo Mori, who is one of the hottest designers working today. You know, Vasco da Gama and Blitzkrieg, Rise of Augustus, Libertalia, Pandemic Fall of Rome. Uh, you know, he's got a long, uh, Ethnos, a long list of very popular games. And I thought, okay, well, I'm sure it'll be clever, but still. Yeah, and, 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 and I, I don't mean to, uh, uh, you know, skip Remo, uh, uh, Kanzadori, his co-designer, who has also done some very good designs. Expo uh, 1906, Alibaba, Humboldt's Great Voyage. I've played several of his games, and I thought those were really good, too. So, between the two of them, I figured, yeah, it's going to be a well-designed game, but it's probably going to be really hampered by its, uh, you know, by this. And it'll just turn out to be kind of something I'd want to play with kids. Uh, you know, no matter how clever it is. But I was wrong. This game's got a lot going on. The variety you get out of the five characters um, be, and the way these interact. I mean, if you just watched my run through, you saw five of them. The other ones, the princess, where she's trying to get diagonals. So that changes everything, trying to chase after diagonals in a game where normally all you care about is orthogonal. The bad wolf, trying to get majorities on a given row so that at the end of the game, you can get huge three points for having the most of your bad wolves on a given row. That's a very complex thing to pull off and the Pied Piper like um oh what's it Jack and the Beanstalk every time you put the Pied Piper out you put out a, a rat tile instead of a beanstalk tile and um but they can go anywhere not just next to Jack these combine with these other ones to create really interesting puzzling little situations and you think okay well it's always going to be super obvious anyway because well yeah I know if you put this here I'm going to put that there it's you know it's it's a two player only game it's so tit for tat but then you throw in all these special powers um you know negative ones and positive ones and so players it can be very, very painful. You've really got to come up with a good reason to be able to put a tile here that's going to let your opponent go next and um, you'll get two points out of it. But there are ways to make it worth your while uh, so that, oh yeah, great, you got two coins, but uh, that meant you left this other thing wide open so I can do this other thing that's going to get me three coins. And I mean, this is it's, it's a... It's, it's a not a super high scoring game. Every coin counts. So you can definitely set up situations where, oh well, you obviously want to do that. But you realize if you do that, you're leaving this other thing that I'm going to be able to do. And so what are you going to do? You know, creating these kinds of conundrums for each other and, you know, counter moves and outthinking each other. It's, I mean, don't get me wrong. It is still Connect Four, and it is a very simple game mechanically. Um, you know, five different characters, you know, mix things up a little bit. But otherwise, we're just dropping tiles in and, um, you know, counting points at the end of the game. It couldn't be simpler. But, I mean, the brilliance of these two-sided tiles, so you can see at a glance, oh, these are my tiles, these are your tiles, um, you know, trying to avoid or chase after the special powers and all the mix-up makes this game a surprisingly good game. So much so that Jen and I are keeping it. And I would not have expected it. I thought this was going to be a great gift for my niece and nephew after we were done. And sorry, Zane and Zoe, you're not getting it. We're keeping it because we really enjoy it quite a bit. My only complaint about this game, in all honesty, is I wish there were more than eight cards. Don't get me wrong. Eight is enough um, for love. <laughs> but more would be better. It's interesting. Um, in the rule book, it talks about go to the publisher, uh, Cool Mini or Not's website, and go to the page devoted to it for extra stuff. I went there, and what they had was an alternate function for the evil queen. I'm like, yes, that's awesome. That means there's nine cards. Now I want alternate functions for all these other cards too, um, so that we can go up to have 18 different cards. Uh, and I mean, you know, so. Hopefully, um, you know, the game catches on. Hopefully, the, um, you know, the publisher decides to put out promos. I know they did actually put one promo out uh, via the Dice Tower's yearly fundraising. I'm probably going to have to seek that promo out. And I don't really chase after promos much anymore. And don't get me wrong, it doesn't need it. The eight cards plus the one bonus that's on the website is enough for variety. But I want more, more, more. Um, because this is super fun. It is super charming. And it's really, really was a big surprise for both me and Jen. And uh, yeah, that's it for Fairy Tale in.
Thanks very much for watching, everybody. Have a very nice day. Talk to you later. So long. Uh, bye bye.